So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait. Don't tell me I don't count. No. Uh, um... Here, take it. In the Master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. The Gazing Eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on! You did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and... This box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. But why? You'll see. May my heart be my guiding key. You must be Terra. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so he'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. You better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao.
The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. Huh. If I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good? <laughs> so much for the bluff. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. I'm just lucky you didn't steal my heart like Princess whatever it was. <laughs> that would have ruined my week for sure. Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... He's not the one who stole her heart? <laughs> How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. Uh. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go <laughs> first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua... I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What? Right this way. Young man, what ails you? 
Can you speak? Tell me your name. Xehanort. Xehanort. <laughs> Quickly, get him to the castle. You can count on me. Dylan, get those for me. Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. <sighs> hey, you're not Terra. <laughs> just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back. Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? name is Ansem. You know, I don't like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten, or were you procrastinating? As if. I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. And since I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Xemnas's secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key-shaped swords appeared and unleashed a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Xemnas, er, I mean Xehanort, was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal and build a room in the back. Ever since then, he holds himself up in that room when he can and he talks to someone. But who? For all I know, he's the only one in that room. Need I repeat myself about eavesdropping? Not eavesdropping. Couldn't hear what they were saying. Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I know I would very much like to focus on my own duties. As you should with yours. For we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only 11 of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What new facility? Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place, anyway? 
He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend. Good tidings, friends. Today is a momentous day. I am pleased to announce that a new comrade has been... Well, I suppose it's too bad you and Poppet didn't get to spend a little more quality time with him. Poppet? I'm talking about Shion, kiddo. Kiddo? Roxas, get to work. Is it true, then? About Castle Oblivion? That's none of your concern. And Axel? Gone. He may have disappeared for good. What? Hey. What happens when Heartless are destroyed? The hearts remain. And then, those hearts gather together to form the Great Kingdom Hearts. Then, can you tell me what remains if a nobody is destroyed? What's there to leave behind? We're not even supposed to be in the first place. And the members at Castle Oblivion, where'd they go? Nothing's left of them. In which case... I'll never see them again? That's right. You coming? Huh? Oh, yeah. The time has arrived. Let us remember why we are here and what we hope to achieve. I sent Axel to Castle Oblivion last night to help expedite the matter we spoke of. I also instructed him to clear out our facilities there. He should return soon. And what of Namine? Still missing, sir. Ha <laughs> ha! Where or where could she be? Why, Zigbar. It almost sounds as though you know. <laughs> Somebody accessed our main computer without authorization. And you expect us to believe you really don't know who it was. As if. Little Poppet is turning into a problem. Nonsense. I see no problem whatsoever. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, no! Apparently you don't. Something you find amusing? Ah, the things you hear from a guy with no heart. Both of them have connections to Sora, but we only need one of them under our thumb. Whether Shion takes from Roxas the rest of what he has to give, or whether he destroys her first and takes back what is his... <laughs> what a blast from the past! Shion, stop! Of all the faces, why do I look at her and see yours? Why is it that you always have to glare at me like that? Shut up! Huh? Explain yourself, Axel. The old man needs to get his eye checked. She just got away. I'll give him that. Can't toss the blame around. And now we're left with the one we can't use. Did something happen? Where's Shion? She flew the coop! 
Flamesy Locks here couldn't trouble himself to clip her wings. Huh? What does he mean, Axel? Your friend sat there sucking his thumb while Shion walked right off. I'm going back to my room. Talking about the replica program, isn't it obvious? The what-ka? Perhaps you care to enlighten us about this pet project of yours. So now, we just sweep it up, huh? As if. What's the big idea? Oopsie daisy. Boo! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! You used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be, or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. Sora knows the truth now. The more heartless that he defeats, the closer he is to becoming our perfect puppet. This new knowledge will make him that much harder to control. What does it matter, really? Whatever his circumstances, Sora has never been able to help himself from saving people from the heartless. It's what his pure little heart wants. There. The dice have been cast. Things are in motion. He can't stop this. Nothing is set in stone. If the dice aren't in your favor, you will share Demix's fate. The fun is in not knowing, isn't it? What is the point of betting on something if you already know the outcome? 
Are you sure that defeating him won't derail the organization's plan? If he is to die so easily, he is of no use to us. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's not in my nature to hold back. Wait! Riku? Ah? Oh? No, never heard of him. The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute. How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. Then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart, and that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. Have you been a good boy? Show yourself! Oh, it sounds like you haven't. Sora! Roxas! Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Here he comes! Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, hold on! That was more difficult than I thought. But at least things are on track. Lord Xemnas is nowhere to be seen, so that means... The party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man! Does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business? The way he can see in the mines. And it doesn't help that no one knows what it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led wherever it is I am destined to go. Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, 
more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, which poor soul will it be? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Oh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Robe Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? <laughs> no. That wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel, and Roxas, and Namine. And that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, 
got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Why then? Why did you lie to them and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you, aren't you scared of just turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet, and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no power. We see much bigger and better things in your future, once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me, and I don't care. I'm proud to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> My friends, they are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. Fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas! He's all yours! Axel! Huh? Axel? Please. The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! But... The gathering of the Seven and Thirteen is nigh. It's nothing. That's what these are for. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, Marks. Get away! No organization! You're Zigbar! Ah, uh, all this altruism is giving me the warm and fuzzies. So then, does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? Just say what you mean. Oh, but I did, though. No good will ever come from putting other people first. I was able to save Meg's life because I was ready to risk my own. Because you've got friends in high places, you mean. Tricks like that don't fly for your average Joe. What do you know? You weren't even there. If you were, you'd admire Herc's courage. I don't admire one guy leaping into danger if it means someone else might have to jump in to save him. You're all just lining up to lose out. Dooming others to take the fall with you. Oh. And you can spare me the usual party line. Yes, hearts are powerful when they're connected. But if you put too much of that power in one place, some of those hearts might end up breaking. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined to yours. Why would I ever take advice from you? As if. You don't have any choice but to follow this sweet little trail of breadcrumbs. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. You're so close! <laughs> May your heart...
Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. A real test for the mark of mastery! What did you say? We gotta make sure you're not blundering your way toward a second failure. <laughs> <sighs> blundering? I'll have you know we failed with style, Chief. At least you admit it. Well, if you Guardians think you brought the goods, you'll have to prove it to the old guy one last time. Kid, take it away. Hey, let's speed it up. Keep the line moving. Figures. If I had a keyblade, it'd be different. Like you're actually worthy to use one? Oh. I am worthy. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> the old coot promised to bequeath me his. Why else do you think I would ever put up with all his nonsense? It'd be wasted on you. <laughs> As if. <clears throat> what? Finally, back where it belongs. Did you summon us back? Yep. Is that you, Lucio? You look different. I haven't heard that name in a long while. 
These days they call me Zigbar, but hey, whatever suits you. Is it really you? Yeah, but some time ago I had to cast my old form away. Been through plenty more semblances since, but it's still me underneath it all. What happened? Why are we here? You tell me! I had a role to play. And after all these years, it's done. What role? Hmm. I guess Ava didn't make it after all. Meaning what? I told her, clear as day, what it is I had to do. And is that why you decided to exclude her? As if. Ava had her own mission, and she carried it out. I've heard enough! Lushu, what was your role? I hope you like long stories. <laughs>